Just when we think we've learned everything about who failed Adrian Jones, a lawsuit filed by the little boy's family reveals more allegations. In 2015, detectives found the seven-year-old's remains in a livestock pen on this property in Wyandotte County where he lived with his eventual killers, his father and stepmom. The lawsuit names several Missouri social workers, a therapist of Adrian's, and the Kansas Department for Children and Families, among others. The lawsuit states Kansas DCF didn't do enough to protect Adrian from his father, despite Adrian's claims that both parents were abusing him. The documents also show after the family moved to Missouri in 2012, on several occasions, social workers there noted bruises and markings on Adrian's body, but didn't seek medical experts' opinions. After several hotline calls, one social worker did start in home services, but the Joneses eventually stopped cooperating. The case in Missouri was closed. Two years later, Adrian was sent to Spofford, a mental health Health hospital. According to documents, social workers stated in email to each other that Adrian's parents abandoned him and wouldn't participate in his care. Still, Adrian was eventually sent back to live with his dad and stepmom. The family then moved back to Kansas. The family's attorneys say DCF then received hotline calls that pictures of Adrian's abuse were posted on his stepmom's Facebook page. The suit claims no one followed up on the calls.